Hello. Welcome to another episode of Just My Thoughts. I am here doing this video, I suppose, just, uh, just kind of hit me in a moment, you know. So, I don't know, I guess I just wanted to vent. My wife told me a while back, right? Probably a few months ago. She didn't mean it. Um, I think she meant it in a sarcastic manner, honestly. She said, it must be so frustrating being you to always see all the things that are wrong, right? And even though she meant it sarcastically, she she's quite correct. <laughs> there is a uh, there's just a daily frustration. It is so frustrating, like. Everybody, I shouldn't say everybody, often throughout the day, it is, it's, it's like just seeing people do things wrong. Um, people, either they're doing it wrong or it's, they're very inefficient so they might be doing what they're supposed to be doing correctly but they're just going about it in a highly inefficient manner which is also really frustrating and um yeah this is it's a okay so This is a new problem for me, okay? Ever since, like, my, um, I don't know, my extroverted intuition kind of kicked into overdrive, I guess. I'm sorry, not extroverted intuition, my extroverted thinking. Um, like, my, it feels like my thinking is just going into overdrive. Like, all I want to do is think about things. I want to parse things. Um, so, yeah, I know what the source of this is. And, I mean, I don't know. Like, if I had pretty much had, like, my entire life to kind of adapt to this, then um, by this point in time, I think this would not be such an issue, but since this is still pretty new to me, it is so frustrating. Um, and just, I don't know, like everything just looks different now. It's like my perspective is just totally shifted and everything seems different. Like, I feel like a lot of the times I'm just Splitting people into categories between being thinkers and feelers. That's probably problematic, I'm sure. Um, I don't really know what to do with that yet. Besides, I just like, I don't know, studying people, I suppose. Um, and another frustration dealing with fillers like as far as I can tell fillers just look impulsive to me um 
like thinkers seem like we are always running calculations of some sort. Like we we're always running calculations and we seem to have systems for almost everything we do, right? And this is like a subconscious thing as far as I can tell. Um for the most part because <clears throat> It's as simple as, I don't know, anything. Like any little thing in life, they have a system, a way of doing things. Um, and I'm trying to think. Whereas feelers, it seemed like everything is impulsive, right? Everything is just like whatever, whatever wave of emotion hits you at whatever point in time it hits you, that's pretty much how it's going to play out. So like, it seems like feelers are all about good emotions. They want to feel good. Um, and... If you spark a bad emotion, then they'll react to that, too. It just won't be in a positive manner. But, yeah, it just looks so, so impulsive to me. Like, like it seems, and again, I know this is me. I know this is me because the world the world has functioned before me. The world continuously functions. It appears like I'm the only one saying this. Um, not to say I'm crazy or anything like that, but yeah, that's what it looks like. Well, I work with this guy. He's a supervisor. He's a, he's a, ESTJ and he has extroverted thinking first or I guess his dominant function and I watch him and I use him as a way of kind of keeping myself in check because I watch him struggle with this same frustration and he doesn't handle it well. Um, he'll flip out, call people stupid. Um, he also likes to manipulate people and gets off on that. And it's just like, all right, I look at him and I'm like, okay, never allow yourself to go that far. Never give in to those impulses um cause it's one you become an asshole two it's not fair to other people just because you're seeing something that they're not seeing and vice you know vice versa it's not fair to try to hold them accountable to your own um to your own way of seeing things and doing things so I do try to keep that in mind but I, it is frustrating it is very frustrating like it is now, what time is it? It is now 5.25 a.m. Okay. Now, normally I'm up pretty early, so this is not really much of a big issue. But I've actually been up since like 3 something. That's a bit early even for me. Um, and why am I up, you might ask? Well... 
because I was asleep. And my wife, being the feeler that she is, wakes me up. She wakes me up to ask me if I'm asleep. This is the shit I'm talking about, man. You know how infuriating that is. For just... It's very upsetting. It's very upsetting. And I love her. You, you love who you love. You can't help that. But yes, it, it makes me, it makes me upset. And again, immediately as she does this, in my head, it's like I can see her entire thought process. That's what it, that's what it seems like. And again, the frustration comes because it, I'm looking at it like, okay, well, I can't even, I can't even be mad because it's just her running off impulse. Like, how do you, how do you be upset about that? Like, she's not even being logical in her approach. Like, if you made a a mistake in logic, then I guess, you know, I can kind of fuss at you and try to get you to correct it or something. But if you're not even operating on logic, it's just all impulsive, good emotions, chemicals. What what do I say? What what do I say to that? Because anything I say, one, produces more chemicals. And two, it just kind of falls on deaf ears because that's not how she operates. It's, it's, I'm realizing like feelers and thinkers, it's like speaking two different languages. <laughs> I actually wonder if that has more to do with the like man, in a sense, man, woman thing. Although there are differences between men and women. One of the bigger differences is men tend to lean more towards thinkers, thinking dominant. And women tend to lean more towards feeling dominant. Although, clearly, you can be a man and be feeling dominant. And you can be a woman and be thinking dominant. So I'm not trying to say it's strictly like that. But I'm just saying, throughout history, I think a lot of times it's, it's laid out like that. So, yeah, just... Just frustrations, man. Frustrations of being a thinker. And like... For me... I deal with mostly feelers all day and all in all honesty it's like I'm surrounded by feelers so yeah the frustration is continuous throughout the day it's continuous um don't know what to do about it try not to let it consume me but it gets difficult at times. It gets difficult at times. Wow, as I'm looking at me in the camera, I look tired. <sighs> uh, yeah, I feel tired. I feel like my brain's not... It's not flowing how it's supposed to flow. I can feel it. Things aren't... Yes, I did, I did not get enough rest... I can definitely feel the difference. Fuck. 
It's gonna be a long day. It's gonna be a long day. Sometimes I wish I can <laughs> take a vacation from my life. Like, if I just had, like, uh, disposable income, and I can be like, you know what? Screw this shit. I'm just gonna, like, go somewhere for, like, two weeks or something, you know? Go to the Bahamas or something. Just, like, time off. And then come back to life. You know? Like, come back to my life. I, I like my life. But sometimes I just need space. Just not enough space. And I don't know. I'm, I'm sitting here making this video. Just pretty much to relieve frustration of being woken up in the middle of the night for no reason um so i don't have much i don't have much subject matter like my brain's just not functioning right right now usually subject matter is not something that bothers me like once i have a general direction i start talking it's very difficult to get me to stop which I'm sure you guys notice because most of my videos are like over an hour and now I'm at like 17 minutes so and I'm dragging yes I'm definitely dragging I don't know well this this is a pretty short video it Perhaps I won't even post it. This just, just feels bad. Like, it just, it's poor quality, poor quality for the audience. You know, it's poor quality to put this out. Well, with that being said, this is just another episode of Just My Thoughts. My apologies for the rambling. <laughs>